Hello and welcome to this pocket code tutorial. In this lesson I will first show you how to let your characters come to life with a simple animation. Secondly, I will demonstrate how to make your characters do something when tapped. So let's get started. We have already prepared a background and a few other characters. If you like these graphics, you can download them from the pocket code media library. As you can see here, in our example, there is a fifth character missing. We want to add Alice to our program, so add her as a new object. To do that, tap the plus symbol and select an image for Alice. Then name the object and hit OK. Press play to test the program and you will see that Alice doesn't quite fit into the group yet. You will need to change her position. Tap the axis on button to have a look at the coordinate system. Now you know how you have to set Alice's position so she fits in. Go back to her scripts and tap plus. Add a when program started brick from the control category. Because we want to move Alice when the program starts, add a place at brick from the motion category. Enter her new position into the brick and test the program. If your character is not in the right place, just go back and try new values. Now that she fits into the group, we want to make her move. For that to work, you have to add another look to her. Go back to her scripts and add a weight with a pause of 0.2 seconds, which makes the characters look more natural. Next, insert a forever loop, because we want Alice to keep moving for the duration of the program. Add another weight brick and a next look brick within the forever loop. Now test your program and you see that Alice moves. As you are done with the animation, you should add the animation that happens when you tap Alice. We want to show a speech bubble next to Alice when she is tapped. Add the bubble as a new object. You can find it in the media library. We want the bubble to be hidden when the program starts, so add a when program started and a hide brick. Also, adjust the position as we already did with Alice. As it is Alice that is tapped to show the bubble, go to her scripts and add a when tapped brick. When Alice is tapped, you need to send a signal to the bubble to be displayed. Insert a broadcast brick and call the signal think. Next, configure the bubble to react to our signal. Add a when I receive brick and tell it to react to your signal think. When think is received, the bubble will show itself. Add a wait and a hide brick so the bubble disappears after a certain time. Check and see that when you tap Alice the bubble shows and disappears again. If you want Alice to have some friends, you can also try to animate other characters and give them special actions as you can see in our example. 